Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we will be talking about a new airline that's hiring right now. So pack your things and apply so you become a cabin crew. Right now they are hiring so if you're interested keep on watching and you definitely don't want to miss story time. So if you're new with us, subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up, share the video if you like it and let's start. I will tell you today the requirements and how to apply and I even applied myself so I will show you even the email that you will be receiving. I will first start talking about the requirement because it's slightly different than the other airlines I talked about before. You can change the base so you shouldn't just stay in one country you can afterwards change it but then you have to work for them for one year and then you request to change the base and then they can change your base upon your request. So you have to be above 18 years old to apply, but if you want to apply for Abu Dhabi, you have to be above 21 years old. For the height, it's different from male to female because when you are a male, you have to be above 175 centimeters. If you are a female, you have to be above 165 centimeters. It's not like Emirates and Qatar Airways and uh, Etihad when you have to be only above 162 centimeters. Here the difference is 165 centimeters. High school degree also, you have to have high school degree and I saw it even in the application, you have to check that you have your high school degree, you just don't talk about it. So obviously they do request it stamped. Obviously you have to be fluent in English, but for the other languages, there are some languages that are a must as well, but they're not for every base. So it depends the country that you're applying to work in. I will go through that here because as you can see here, you have to be fluent, written and spoken in English and in additional Central Eastern European languages, either Romanian, Bulgarian, Polish, Hungarian, German, Lithuanian, Latvian, Slovak, Czech, Macedonian, Macedonian, sorry, Serbian, Ukrainian, Georgian or Bosnian. So if you're applying to either of these places, then you have to speak the language of that place. This is like a must, not a plus. But if you're applying for the UK, if you want to be based in the UK, then you only have to speak English. Any other language is good. So if you speak Hindu, if you speak another language, Arabic, of course, then it's very good for you. It's a plus in your CV. If you're applying for Abu Dhabi and you want to be based in Abu Dhabi in the UAE, then Arabic is not a must, but it's good for you. And I believe that now they're hiring Arabic speakers like ah, they really want Arabic speakers and it's open guys. And I will show you how I applied myself just to show you. It's pretty easy. It's very clear what they want. And then you just wait for them to reply to you. Obviously, you have to have a valid passport and at the same time, your passport should not be banned from any country. We know that already. If you want to apply for a cabin crew, then you cannot be banned from any country. If you did anything illegal in some countries, then, you know, they will check and then you will have serious problems with that and you definitely want to avoid that. But they mention here that you have to be living already 60 minutes from the airport of the destination that you're applying to or you're willing to move there, which is cool. If you want to apply to Abu Dhabi, you can apply online and you will have everything online and then they will take you. But you can also be living in Dubai because as you saw here, 60 minutes and Dubai is less than 60 minutes from Abu Dhabi. So if your dream is to live in Dubai, then this is the chance to be working with an amazing airline. At the same time, you will be living in Dubai. As any other airline that I spoke about before, no visible tattoos in the uniform. But if you have a tattoo that is not visible in the uniform, for example, here, here, it's completely fine. You don't want to stress about that as well. And another thing here that I wanted to talk about is the site requirement. I told you before that for Emirates, for example, they don't do tests for your site, but these they do and you have to be above four. So if you're less than four, then that will be a huge problem for you. They don't say you're not allowed to wear glasses, but they say you have to be above four and you have to provide them with the certificate for that 
and you will as well do a test when you go to that base, Abu Dhabi or the UK or it depends the destination that you want to be work. There is a part that you might not like because it's not like any other cabin crew with other airlines where you travel all over the world because they only do turnarounds so they will hire you only to do turnarounds. So for married people here or people who like stable life and who wants to be a cabin crew but then come back home and sleep in their bed. This is the job for you, but if you want to travel all over the world for free, then this is not the job for you. But there is something that might compensate you, which is discounted tickets even with other airlines. So if you want to be a cabin crew, yes, you are going to do only turnarounds, go and come back in the same day, but you still want to travel the world, they do offer you discounted tickets, not just with Wizz Air, but also with Emirates and with other airlines, Etihad and other airlines. So if you want to go on vacation, if you have days off, then you can go to any destination that you wish with discounted tickets and you will not even feel the price of those tickets. And the details are written here so you're more than welcome to just screenshot it and then you have everything and if you want to read it and read it again then you will understand and also I have a link down there go ahead and apply as soon as possible you don't want other people to apply first and then they take them and then they don't have places anymore and then oh my god you will regret it guys even if your dream is to become a cabin crew and you travel all over the world while working this is your chance to have that amazing experience that will make any other airline hire you so you can work with them for one year one year and a half yes you have the experience and by that time emirates started recruiting again or another airline that you want to work for and then yes you're ready you're already a cabin crew you have everything so there is no chance they say no to you because you already have every single thing and even you have an excuse why you quit with air so if they tell you why do why did you quit your job as a cabin crew and you're applying as a cabin crew right now you will say i want to work for a bigger airline a five stars airline so here they will trust you when you apply for them and also they will know that you already have an experience and you will use that experience in your job now. I will now take you through the website. I will show you how I applied. So you apply and hopefully they will call you or they will send you an email and then you will be selected. Hopefully, I really, really hope for that. So I will take you through the website. As you can see here, you click in the link. I have it down there and then it will take you through that page and then you click on apply here. And of course, you have to sign up. This is the first thing that we all do. Sign up with a professional email, please. Do not sign up with an email that's butterfly or weird name or just apply with an email that's your name and your last name as simple as possible create your password and then after you finish that it will take you to this page as you can see here and i will explain it to you guys because i don't want you to make any mistakes whatsoever as you can see here it took me to this page so the first thing here is my first name i need to put my first name my last name I need to put my phone number, of course, you have to put the phone number with the code, for example, Dubai plus 971, Algeria plus 213. So you have to put that, you don't put the number just like that, you have to put that code as well and the professional email, as we said before, please, you have to attach a photo. The photo, it has to be super professional with the white background, smiley, not that smiley, but smiley good posture so when they see you they tell you are a cabin crew you have to here upload your resume your cv and you have to put a cover letter here i did not put a cover letter but yeah you have to do that as well level of english please don't put medium or low you need to put advanced or native if you're native but just don't give them a chance to reject you for english until you at least go through the final interview face-to-face -face interview and they can judge you from your english you don't want them to judge you just by the thing you wrote here country of residence you put where you live in the city the address the gender if you're gay please choose either 
female or male the one that's written in your passport because you don't want them to reject you just because you mentioned not specified please if you have a secondary citizenship date of birth age place of birth mother tongue this is very important for arabic speakers because they want arabic speakers and for the other nationalities that we spoke about in the beginning of the video they also need speakers of those languages as well and additional commands maybe here you can mention that you speak that language and that language and that language and that will be a plus for you and then when you submit all of this it will take you to this page here and then again we will have to fill all of these you have to say here if you participated in the with air recruitment day before if you did then say yes and mention when exactly but if you never did then say no have you received a high school diploma as i told you before of course yes you have to say yes because if you say no then of course it's a no automatically if you wear glasses this is the part that we spoke about before if you wear glasses if you put here below four then it's automatic rejection because as i told you you have to be above four if you don't wear glasses then you mention no glasses and if you are above four you just mention above four if you're minus four then unfortunately there is no chance they will not take you even if you lie and you send them a certificate that you are above four but when you go there they will have to test you so i'm sorry you have to mention your height your weight do you have any permanent illness no are you color blind person no are you able to swim without any aid if you even if you don't swim say yes i swim without any aid like i always do do you have any visible tattoos you have to say no are you a european citizen then if you're yes say yes no no but if you're applying for Abu Dhabi, like this is not a must at all are you willing to move to any base so here they will see if you're a flexible person and if you can move if they put you in Abu Dhabi for example if you want to put they want to put you in the UK in Serbia you can move as long as they request you you can either say yes or you say no I will personally say no and here as well you have to put your CV you have also to mention the base that you want to be working in and also you have to choose the primary base preference as we can see here it's so many places abu dhabi austria bosnia bulgaria georgia hungary latvia lithuania macedonia moldova poland so many places in poland actually romania romania as well serbia uk and ukraine so you can choose any of these in the primary base preference and secondary base preference or you can also choose any and that will even make your chances higher i believe so but you're free to do whatever makes you happy and as you can see here i uploaded my cv i uploaded a picture and halas. after you finish the application and you submit you will receive an email that your application is submitted and is successful so halas here you just wait for them to reply and they will start flying soon so they are hiring right now it just started in june and they are hiring so you better go and apply it's very very easy and just do like we always say be positive be super smiley and even here we saw that they're looking for people who are very cheerful very smiley and you know they can make customers feel like they are kings and queens and all airlines are looking for that actually so you need to do that and they are hiring now so go ahead and apply please go ahead and apply and when they send you emails contact me i don't know how to contact me hopefully i will have my instagram soon and then you can contact me so yeah go ahead and apply and the story that i wanted to tell you is actually a reminder for all of us that there is a plan and you will always have what's written for you and even if you tried all of your life to become a cabin crew and you did not become a cabin crew yet maybe it's still written for you but then not now maybe later so don't give up and a friend of mine is actually like that she was trying to become a cabin crew even before i became a cabin crew she loved that job she always wanted to be a cabin crew 
I applied for it. I went so many years and I was a cabin crew and she was still trying to become a cabin crew. She heard so many no's. She applied for Emirates, she applied for Qatar Airways so many times and she does not live in the city where they come. So every time she travels to that city when they come and she books in hotels and she spends all of her money and she does not have money. So she basically just borrows money from her brothers or from her family. I don't know how she does it every single time but I bet it was so difficult and yet she managed to go every single time they come, both of them, Emirates and Qatar Airways, and every single time she reaches the final interview and then they reject her. So eventually what happened now recently, as I told you just before coronavirus, she was recruited by Qatar Airways. She was recruited and she is like the most cheerful person that you can ever meet. She's always so happy. She's never negative. As we know, they fired so many people and she is lucky she was not fired like mashallah. But this is not just luck. As I told you, what's written for you, you will see it. It does not matter how much you wait, so don't give up. As we saw like this example, she tried so much to become a cabin crew and it's her dream for like ever and she tried so much. If it was me, I will give up even like if they reject me the first time. I will give up because I will feel like I'm not, you know, meant for that job, but she never gave up and she is an amazing cabin crew now and you should see her. Everyone is complaining about everything, but you never see her complaining because it's her dream. She's there because it's her dream. So if you applied for many airlines and you heard so many no's, don't give up. If it's your dream, you will be a cabin crew if you keep on trying and you don't listen to haters and you just keep on trying, you will be a cabin crew one day. You will achieve your dream if, of course, that's your dream. If you just want to become a cabin crew of the glamorous lifestyle, then you will never be happy because it's not all glamorous and I've covered so many things now because you saw so many things that can happen. But if it's your dream, then all of these, you will not just see them because you will only see the good parts because you feel that you're doing something good. Even on board, if you like talking to people, if you're someone very active, if you're someone that is okay with customers all over you, like talking to you, then you will be happy. So if this is your dream, none of this will matter. None of this will make you upset. Even if the flight is so challenging, if the customers are so demanding, this is your dream, you will always be happy. If you're just looking for the glamorous side, you will never be happy, trust me. You will never be happy if you just wanna become a cabin crew and you only look at the glamorous side. If you want the easy things, the easy lifestyle, you will never be happy because you will have challenging things on board and you have to overcome those things. And the only way to overcome bad things is your love to this so if you love aviation if you love being a cabin crew apply but if as i said before i will repeat myself i repeat myself a lot so yeah this is it and i hope you will apply if you want to become a cabin crew don't think about turnarounds a lot because learn of it as an experience you will learn so much and you will already be living in the uae so you will learn so much and then when you apply for emirates they will definitely take you and you already saved money so you know why not go ahead and apply and let me know in the comment section if you like it if you like this airline i think it's really really nice airline personally and if you're new with us subscribe to my channel hit the thumbs up share the video if you like it see you on the other videos and bye bye